Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, let's celebrate 40 years with Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada 40th Hoppy Anniversary Ale is a 6% IPA from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in Chico, California. When I started drinking craft beer years and years ago, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale was one of the first beers that I dipped my feet into. Now, I had a really bad first experience of drinking way too much Sam Adams, and it put me out of the game for a few years, which was a few years earlier, but the Pale Ale brought me back. Now, I didn't know what hops were or what separated a Pale Ale from a lager, from a stout, but that first taste and first bottle really pushed me off into the larger journey that I'm still on now. 40th Hoppy Anniversary Ale is Sierra Nevada's throwback to the roots and away after, you guessed it, 40 years in business. Now, for this anniversary release, they decided to go with the West Coast IPA route. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, Sierra Nevada was founded in 1979 on $50,000, which was probably a boatload of money back then. And they used discarded dairy equipment and scrap metal to brew their beer. Now they've come a long way, obviously. So let's take a look at the label here. We'll get it into a glass. On the front, it has, it's this really cool label. When you see it on the shelf, you know that this is the 40th anniversary ale because it's big front and center right there. And it says limited edition on the neck, limited edition 40th uh, Sierra Nevada established 1980. Sorry, they, they started off in 1979, 1980 is probably when they started everything up, but it says Hoppy Anniversary Ale, 65 IBUs, 6% ABV. And so what's on the neck is just a little bit larger on the big body of the bottle. Again, it says limited edition and uh, all that stuff I read before. And it says Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. And then on the back, this was packaged on December 3rd, 2019. It says across the top, alcohol, 6% by volume, 12 fluid ounces. And then it says, hop forward beers were popular when we started in 1980, but we love them. And we knew that if we were going to open a brewery, we'd better make something distinctive. It's been 40 years since then, and we're still brewing what we love. This beer showcases the bold flavors and aromas of a classic West Coast IPA. Intense pine and citrus with a deep gold color and slight caramel sweetness. Here's to following your passion and to the next 40 years. Amen. So I'm gonna grab my handy dandy <laughs> bottle opener, grab my glass here, I got my Draft Therapy Tiku glass, and I got my bottle opener, so let's go ahead and crack this open. And uh, as you can see, this is just a black Sierra Nevada cap. On the top, it says fresh seal cap, use bottle opener. So don't use your teeth on this one, unless you know how to do that, I don't. So, and I, and I was gonna say, this is really kind of, it looks a lot like the Arbor Brewing Company. I, obviously, Sierra Nevada has been around for a lot longer, but I just wanna point that out. So let's go ahead and pour this into the glass. It is very golden coming out, very yellow. Has a nice color to it. Pour it right down the neck, down the gullet on that, and it's not gonna overflow, but I got just a little bit of a sip left in here, but we're gonna count how many, we got about two and a half fingers worth of head on this glass, and you can see from the overhead that you know, it's pretty nice compact bubbles. I'm gonna take a sip, I'm gonna pour a little bit more. Actually, maybe we'll just pour the rest in there now. Whoa, maybe I will slow down. I got another sip in there, but the, the head's really nice, really compact, Lot, lots of air got in there. And if we hold it up to the light, that is just a really nice golden color. A little bit of sediment in there. It's not super clear, not super duper clear, uh, but it is pretty clear. And you can see some stuff kind of floating in there. Kind of a really slight, a uh, bunch of carbonation rising up from the bottom. And then, yeah, I can see my fingers through here. I can see my fingernails. I can see almost, no, I can't see my fingerprints, but almost, almost. Let's go ahead and pour the rest in there and then I'll put a nose on the glass. I didn't put a nose on the bottle this time. Got, got too caught up in the moment. So let's go ahead and put a nose on the glass. Oh, okay. Getting a little bit of that hoppy aroma, getting a little bit of that piney perfume kind of aroma. I don't think I pick up much on the citrus. I don't want to get my nose too close because I, I don't want to dip into that foam. But yeah, I'm getting more of the pine kind of aroma in there. Maybe a little bit of a sweetness in there as well. So let's go ahead and down the hatch. Cheers. Very, very, very reminiscent of a West Coast IPA. That is like a West Coast IPA. That's the West Coastiest West Coast IPA right there.
Mouthfeel is really nice and medium, middle of the road, just what you'd want from an IPA. The flavor um, is this. At first, it's got a little bit of a sweetness on the very on the very beginning. As you kind of swish it around, that's when that bitterness comes through. And the bitterness that comes through is, it's a really like um, interesting mix of pine and citrus all at once. It's kind of like you're getting both. You're not just getting like the pine side or you're not just getting the citrus side. Sometimes you get them in different parts of the swallow. But in this case, they almost like intermingle, they mix together. The aftertaste, what I pick up a little bit more of is I get like this citrus caramel kind of sweetness, but I also get this kind of pininess that kind of sits in there and it, and it I really, when I take a breath, is when I really get that pine kind of activation on there. But yeah, the reason I said this is like a West, the West Coastiest West Coast IPA is I think on the finish, I feel like the pine comes through a lot more. I think with the, you know, taking the breath and the, the air hitting my tongue and the, the pine is what's getting activated when it does that. And it's really kind of interesting and not out of the ordinary, not something not unexpected for Sierra Nevada for the 40th to do a West Coast style IPA. It's a 6%. You know, you could sit and drink several of these before you, you know, you probably drink one or two, uh, probably three before you start getting a nice buzz on. But it, it just kind of is something that Sierra Nevada, it's something Sierra Nevada would do. They're really, they do a lot of traditional kind of uh, styles or their flavors are really traditional and that's not to say that they don't ever do anything that's out of the ordinary. They they do a lot of styles or a lot of beers now that are just kind of they do all types of beer. But when I when I think of Sierra Nevada, this is the kind of beer that I think of. I think of the pale ale. I think of the IPA. I think of maybe even um, even Bigfoot, which is a barley wine, but it's not it's not the same thing. But but that's what I think of when I think of uh, Sierra Nevada. I don't necessarily think of all the new kind of stuff that they're doing, but I think of this kind of flavor. This is something that really suits them. And they just do a really good job of mixing, you know, everything together. And they give you a really solid West Coast style IPA that you can just drink a few of. And, and you know, you just you don't have to think about the beer too much. You just take the drink. You, you It's good. You know, you like it. And that's Sierra Nevada to me. All right, friends, that has been Sierra Nevada's 40th Hoppy Anniversary Ale. Have you had this or do you have a favorite West Coast IPA style beer you'd like to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.